Hey everyone, it's Jenny. I'm back with another project share. So, um, I totally got sidetracked because <laughs> I was going to make something else. And then I saw, actually it was, I think, Susan Laverty on um, Instagram. Hi, Susan. So she had made these really cute felt pumpkins. And um, I, it, I really didn't think I was going to make it. But um, I don't know if she even left the tutorial. I can't remember. And somehow I stumbled on a tutorial by Strawberry Cream 39. Sorry, I'm trying to read it off my iPad and my eyes are really bad. But anyway, so she had this really cute, um, she had these shabby type of pumpkins. And so I was watching her um, tutorial and it was pretty easy. Like I could do it. Um, I could take it with me and do it, so I actually did just that. So, um, what I did was I I punched out the circles using my punches, and I think I started with a two and a quarter, and then I um, then I just eyeballed it, and I just made it as big as I could using the felt that I had. So I was using um, these felt rolls by. Um, I don't know who this one is by, but I usually buy them from Paper Tray Ink. And so I had a bunch left over that I haven't used yet. And so I decided to make, this is just using my stash. So I didn't make all the colors that I have, but I wanted to stick to more pastel kind of colors. Cause I don't really, to be honest, I don't really like pumpkins. Um, I'm not really a fall person, but I just thought these were so cute and that's why I wanted to make them. Okay, so um, you have, what I did was I hand stitched it and then you just, after you fill it with the fiber fill, then you cover it with another piece. And then, like I said, I just went with the shabby colors. So um, this one is totally shabby. I did the pink and the teal and the, um, or the mint and then the ivory color. So I did one small one and one larger size one. Um, this one is for somebody specific, so that's why I made it these colors. So I need to send that in a rack. Um, I really like these. These I think are my favorite. These are the, um, the ivory. I didn't, at first I didn't like the ivory one, but then after I added the pink and the, the mint, I really liked it. So I think those are my favorite. Um, I also made these. So I didn't have the um, embroidery floss that's the same color as this minty color. So I just, I, you know, I don't know. I thought this was a close color, but it's not. It's actually more of a greenish color, but uh, whatever. I think it's still okay. And then I did um, pink. This one I did the pink leaf too. And then this one I did the white leaf or the ivory leaf. This one is more of a powder blue, but I still added it with the pink and I like how it came out. Um, this one reminds me of like Cinderella. I don't know why. And then I did some green ones, but I didn't want it to be too fallish colors, so that's why I added the pink. And then this is your typical pumpkin color, because I didn't have like a peach. I wish I had a peach, but anyway. Um, and I went to this to Ben Franklin. They they hardly had any colors, so um, I just went with it. And then I added instead of green, I used the mint color, and then I added the um. Sorry, some glue strands. And then um, I added the pink. So I'm really happy with how they came out. I have no idea how I'm going to use it. Um, the lady, I think her name is Jen, on that Strawberry Cream 39. She wanted to have smaller size ones. Oh, look, I didn't put twine. <sighs> I put the twine on these and I forgot these. I got to go back and do that. But anyway, um, she had shown different sizes so I do want to make one large one so I did buy um some felt today so of the larger size so I could try and make that um it's not as good felt as this one like this is the wool felt so it's a little bit thicker and softer but that's all I have access to right now um yeah so she felt like she wanted like embellishment sizes and that's why she made the small pumpkins but I think like if you want to put it on your desk it'll be cute to have a little bit larger size one so that's why I'm making those but anyway um I just thought I would share that because I thought that that was like super cute and shabby and not my norm but it was something fun 
that I could take like with me on the go um, and then you know have a nice project to play around with. Um, the other thing that I'll just share this with you right now um, I I actually tried to make those rosettes I was trying to make sewn kind and um, where you use, you actually sew it and it wasn't coming out really well and so finally I went back to I think it was Tamika who posted it and it was the glam shop um, she posted a tutorial that was um, I didn't do exactly like how she did it, but I, it's pretty close, um, and I think it came out pretty good. So it, if you want like a really thicker version, because it's several layers, then go check that tutorial out. I'll try to link it below. Um, it's a little bit big, because I think she only cuts off a half inch off of each side. But, um, so this one, I like this size better. I cut off three quarters of an inch and I think that came out better. I had a hard time when it was like a lot of layers. Like I think she, um, wraps it around a 14 inch ruler three times. Um, I actually decided to do it only two times and I think it was easier for me to work with. So you just have to kind of play around with it. But I kind of like how these come out because it looks nicer than the ones where you just like press it and flatten it yourself. Um, so I think I'm going to make more of these if I have time. Okay, well that's all that I have to share right now. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!